Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat Worlds, and today we're going to take a look at the light machine guns in BF1. And once again, this time they're the guns exclusive to the support class, but don't let that fool you because they've actually changed quite a bit since BF4. So the big question is, what has changed and how will you need to change your playstyle to get the most out of these guns? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at today, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand everything you need to know to make them work for you. Now, the first and most important thing you need to know about the new LMGs, even before we get into comparing the stats, is that they work completely differently now. And what I mean by this is that the initial spread of your first shot is a lot higher than it was in previous games, which means that all of these guns feel totally different. So what exactly does that mean? Well, basically it means that if you try and tap fire your gun, you're going to end up missing a lot of your shots. And so, in other words, if you really want to be effective, you'll need to try and fire in longer bursts, which obviously is going to limit your effective range. This is part of the whole new approach DICE has obviously taken to try and balance the guns so that they all feel unique. And basically the reason why they've done this is to give each class an identity and a sweet spot where its guns work better than all of the others. So bearing that in mind, the LMGs are meant to fit somewhere in the middle between the range of the SMGs and the semi-autos. And in game, this is definitely pretty obvious because at just about every other range, they get completely destroyed by everything else. Now, apart from this, another big factor that allows this balancing to work is the fact that the damage models of all the guns have been seriously nerfed. I mean, for example, the Mazden, which you can see in this video, only fires at 540 RPM and deals 23 max damage, dropping off to 17.5 at around 29 meters. The other LMGs are a bit more accurate, but as a trade-off, they also fire significantly slower and deal less damage as well. And when I say more accurate, I mean that in the loosest possible sense, because even the most accurate LMGs in BF1 have a base accuracy of only 0.27. So how does that compare to the LMGs in BF4? Well, to start with, the base damage model of most of them is 24.5, which drops off to 18 at 65 meters. And not only that, every single LMG in BF4 also fires a lot faster, and it's really only the M60 at 570 RPM, which even comes close. Also, most of the LMGs in BF4 have much larger capacities of 100 rounds or more, whereas in BF1, the average is only around 30. And as you can imagine, when you combine this with the lower damage model and the relatively bad accuracy, these guns can be more than a little frustrating to use. Now, with that being said, there are some good points about the new LMGs, like, for example, a much better bullet drop and muzzle velocity. For example, the bullet drop of all the LMGs in BF4 used to be around 15 meters per second squared, compared to 12 in BF1, and the average muzzle velocity is now up to around 800 meters per second. So what does that mean for us in-game? Well, basically, in theory, it should make it a lot easier to land hits on longer range moving targets. But the problem is, these guns just don't have the damage and accuracy to actually kill guys at that range. So all in all, it's really not going to make much of a difference anyway. Even at longer mid-ranges, these guns seriously have trouble, and after a lot of failed attempts, I just found myself not even bothering to take a lot of shots, and that meant that most of my kills were at less than 50 meters, and probably the vast majority of these were up close and personal, in range of the SMGs. Meanwhile, I was getting one-shotted from across the map by sniper rifles, knowing full well that there wasn't even a chance to suppress them like you could in BF4. And like I said, really the only time I felt in control was in that sweet spot, which wasn't very often. And as you can imagine, after not that long, I was getting pretty frustrated. Now, bearing this in mind, like I said in my last video about the semi-autos, it's not just these guns that have been nerfed, it's actually everything. So what that means is that if you're struggling to get kills, then don't worry because everyone else is as well. And in fact, sadly, when you break it down, the LMGs probably aren't even that bad. And part of me kind of likes this as a concept because, sure, the classes are more defined and it's better that everything is balanced now, right? But the thing is, a bigger part of me just wants to go back and play some BF4 because, at least in that game, I know my gun isn't going to let me down. So with that being said, I guess it is pretty obvious by now that I'm not a fan of the LMG changes or to the changes to the damage model in general. 
And from what I'm hearing from most of the people in the alpha I've talked to is that they're not really big fans of these changes either. So who knows, maybe DICE will take all of this on board and go back to the tried and tested damage models from BF4, or maybe they just won't. In which case, if you're a fan of BF4, well, brace yourself because I can tell you, BF1 isn't going to feel anything like it. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this quick video. So let me know what you think of the LMGs in the comments section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.